and this thing has lasted for three years. You discover that somebody will just see me as I'll be passing on the way. That do you discover what is growing on your neck? I will say that, and in fact, for me to answer will become a problem because it looks somehow. They will tell me that my daughter was having this issue, so they took her to hospital. Then in Enugu, they operated it for 300,000 naira. Another person will tell me the same thing. Another person will call me and tell, they will even tell my mom that we should do something about it. So we have to go to Benway State for hospital. And the doctor said that he was going to operate my neck that will pay 80,000 naira. So my mom was not afraid that she had never seen somebody operated neck before. Ah, I say, I am serving God. Let God do something. Whenever the man of God is praying, he will say that wherever you are having swollen, that swollen should disappear. Mm. And to the glory of God, you can look at my neck. There Amen. is nothing there again. Amen. There is nothing there Amen. again. I say, may the name of the Lord be Amen. prayed forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can you amplify to so not quite clear? Is it growth or what? Yes, she had goiter. Goiter? Yes, sir. For how many years now? Three years. Oh. But this evening, as the man of God Amen. prayed, the goiter disappeared. Amen. Amen. Goiter. Goita for three years, visible, visible. She came here with it on her neck. Right now, disappeared. Praise the Lord! Yes. Praise the Lord! My name is David Ego Eyu. I am from Bakoko. Oboroko District, Ikorebo Group. In fact, just one week passed, I suffered something that I couldn't, in fact, uh, uh, comprehend. When I want to urinate, before I zip down my trousers, everything will be wet. The wrapper I am using, smelling, my wife will be washing. The, the clothes. Yesterday, she asked me, are you still wearing this trouser? I said, yes. This is the one that people will not detect the urine. So, that yesterday, till we came here, I ate, let me put in some sauce, because I lost appetite. I ate, I drank water, I came here till the program closed, we went to the house. I went to urinate at my own convenience. Nothing like that Amen. again. I Amen. give God the glory in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Call him back. Can you explain? Is it diabetes or what? You were not clear. Yeah, what we call it is uh, uh, urinal incontinence. Yes. That's inability to control the bladder urine comes out on its own accord. Oh. That's the problem she, he had. Well, how long? How long? He says it started about a week ago. And just yesterday, the Lord delivered him from that. Praise the Lord! For how much? For how much? Free! Oh, God is great. Come on. All right. Praise the Lord. My name is Brother Aton. The Asian Town Group. The scene started since 2020. Since then, I was Doko by God's grace to see how I can move fine as the Lord will tell me. But by God's
Jesus Christ, since Thursday, I came to this program. I've been able to move little by little. Because I couldn't testify. Even as I said yesterday, I said today by God's grace, I will give God the glory. Because I believe the Lord. From the social media, we have testimonies coming from various parts of the world. We begin at London. From London comes this testimony. Abanisile A sent in this testimony. He said he had pain in the right leg, and that pain had been excruciating for a long time. After the prayer of the man of God, our father, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, tonight, that pain vanished away. Thank God for his faithfulness. Amen. All the way from London, the miracle happened. Amen. Another testimony from YouTube, from America, says, Martha Rebecca Kumotha Hare said, Arefa had the spirit of epilepsy. Arefa is the son. And she herself had arthritis. And as the man of God prayed tonight, God brought a miracle upon the son. Epilepsy stopped. And it didn't stop there. Her own arthritis pain vanished away. Amen. In the name of Jesus brought the miracle. Amen. Back here in Nigeria. This one is from Benedicta Anyawu from Umukaro District, Umweze, in a Himim Bano local government of Imo State. She had severe ulcer with excruciating pain for about 30 years now. Amen. She has gone to various hospitals, taken various drugs, but when she connected with signs and wonders, the ulcer disappeared. Amen. Her invitee to the program, she invited somebody who was also suffering ulcer for a long time. That same ulcer also disappeared. Amen. Not only that, a little boy who has been paralyzed for over a year mm. simply rose up and began to walk. Amen. All this happened in one venue all the way from here. The miracle Amen. happened. Amen. Come on. Amen. Calabar. Praise the Lord. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. My name is Jerome Agbo. I'm from Obubra Group in Boki Region in Cross River State. I was diagnosed of diabetes on the 29th of September 2015. And since then, it has been a series of chaos moving from one hospital to another. Matter of fact, it started in Yanagua by Elsa State at the Federal Medical Center. That's where I was diagnosed. And like I said, since then, 
I've gone to several places in this country trying to assess a solution, but it has not worked for me. My consolation, however, started 22nd February 2017. I met my father in the Lord in a dream. He came to testify for his son who was suffering from diabetes. And God healed his son in that dream. And right there, he pronounced, you that fellow suffering from this same condition, you are healed in Jesus' name. And something like an electric shock touched my body. I woke up from the bed and uh, said I was healed. So since then, the manifestation has not come. I said, what is happening? I have been praying. Brethren who know me, even from a Corinthian here, the Sien Town district, they can tell. From Boki region, Ikom region, I believe they are hearing me as I'm testifying now. But to cut the long story short, it's been seven years, so so many waters have gone under the bridge. Right here in this program, yesterday, the power of God started touching me. That uncontrolled urination was one of the Amen. challenges I used to face. When I eat, I can't hold back. I have to go to the toilet immediately. So I say I'm not going to testify. Let me kind of put it under experiment and see what's going to happen. And maybe you can see my tummy is kind of protruded. I had to eat very well today and say, let me see what will happen. I've not been rushing to toilet like that. Man. And right here today, while I was there in Hall 3, oh, wonder of all wonders, the Lord touched me again. Amen. I feel relief, all the congestion in the chest, resulting from bronchitis and hemoptysis, vomiting blood. Amen. It is done. Our God is a miracle working God. You are free. I am healed in Jesus' name. I challenge you if you are there too. 10 years, 20 years, it can be done. Put Amen. your faith in Christ. Come and Amen. see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Amen. Hold on. Anything social media? Any states or nation? From the social media. This is coming live from Worry. And then you will have another one live from Lagos. A deaf and dumb just began to speak and began to hear from Lagos. Amen. We'll take the one from Worry. And then we'll bring you the one from Lagos. Before they come up, let me quickly tell you that Joy Nkim Ezijiako from Lagos also got healed of goiter on her neck. The goiter disappeared. Amen. Amen. And there is also this one which indicates that it indicates that Joyous Odihi received salvation. She had been a sinner. But she, she is confirmed that in her soul, she feels peace. In fact, she wrote, I am very happy now. Amen. God has saved her. Amen. Also, before we go to the live one, this one is struck with hemiparesis. Mm. The name is big, but Jesus is bigger. Seven years, mm. that God disappeared Amen. after the prayer of the man Shine of God. Some wonder. We now go to worry life. Life. Yeah. 
free from the pain as we can see this is for me. Praise the Lord. But today, God did it for me. Praise the Lord. I can see an iron man. This is what we call the Lord for. Lord one. Praise the Lord. Yeah, it's permanence. It's permanence. Microphone. Praise the Lord. I'm standing here to testify the goodness of God in the life of this my little friend standing beside me. Her name is Anita Goshe. We are from Yala region. So Anita has been suffering from deafness. She cannot hear with her right ear. But right here this evening, after the prayers of the man of God, Anita can hear freely. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Hold it, hold it, hold it. For how long? Come, Pastor, take over and uh, how long? Deafness. How long? Since February this year. Okay. Test, test her now, brother. Test her. Amen. Come on. Cross river. of God, my name is Sister Juliet. I come from Okudu region, Otanga district. I was serving a ulcer for five years now, but yesterday, Dr. Jesus doing it for me. Praise Amen. Master Jesus. Amen. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see, come and see, amen. Anything from any, co any country or states, social media? Yes, we have this one, just came in from Pakistan. Ariana is the name of this sister. Her right eye was not good, was not seen. According to her, she was seen with blood vision from time to time, but tonight, as the man of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumuyi prayed and released the power of Jesus, Amen. Ariana began to see all the way in Pakistan. Pakistan. She wrote, I have got my healing. I have now seen clearly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The next picture you are seeing is from Lagos. The audio is not very clear, but we will narrate it to you from what we have After the prayer was passed, Lord, before the Lord touched her, that little girl, that little girl had been deaf and dumb. This just happened now. But tonight, as the man of God prayed, this is happening in Odejai district, Idioro group in Moshi, Lagos. As the man of God prayed, prayed that young lady awelewa got her healing awelewa she's being tested as you can see and it is confirmed that she has received her healing there is joy in the globe praise Amen. the lord Amen. Microphone. praise master jesus my name is Ruth Oluchuku. I'm from Central District, Ikom Region. It started most, it is about nine years now I've been having anger issues. That if there is anything beside me, I can use it on you. 
and mostly God has been helping me that it is only my hands that I've been using, so I've been causing a lot of troubles. It ended this past Easter retreat. I prayed to God. I said, God, I don't want this issue anymore. And behold, it was taken away from me. Since then, till now, my anger issue disappeared. But it continued. I live and I was manipulated. Some months ago, I had a dream that I was dedicated in a shrine. That a covenant was made with me in a shrine. Since then, I told nobody. I didn't tell my parents. So, the time for this program came. I had no reason of coming here. I entered the vehicle on my way. I wanted telling the driver to stop me so that I would go because there was no reason. Then suddenly my spirit just spoke to me. When you reach there, you will know the reason of coming here. I came here the first day after the choir administration about freedom. My spirit told me, you came here for a confirmation of your freedom. That night, we slept. And glory be to God for the kind of people that was found in that room. We held a prayer. Though I was feeling so sleepy and tired, I just covered my head. I lay down. Suddenly, I, sh I saw this dark shadowed form. The force it came out of me, it came out with pain. That was how I remained till daybreak before I woke up. Then yesterday I called my father, I confirmed everything. He told me that my grandfather was involved in shrine, but he later came out. The same God that delivered my father from the hands of witchcraft, from the hands of evil, has also delivered me. Praise the Lord. Sorry, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you can you summarize that thing? Talk clear to me. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Um, she had been having this manifestation of unusual anger. Right. That she says that once it comes on her, anything around her, she can use it on anybody. Yes. And uh, she later discovered by a revelation she had that uh, there was a, a dedication that was done in a shrine when she was burned to an idol or something like that. And uh, when she came for this program, she says she was just moved all the way from Ecom to attend this program. But on the way, she wanted to tell the driver, look, I want to go back, stop me. But the spirit told her, go. And she came to this program. When she slept yesterday. She said that while she was in sleep, a personality came out of her. Mm. And she she's, received her. She's free. She's, she's free. free. Lord. Put her hand together for Jesus. Hold on, hold on. Anything social media? Yes, this one is from Aberdeen, United Kingdom. The name is Onoja, a sister from Aberdeen with birth pain in her right tummy for more than six months after the prayer of the man of God tonight. She wrote, the pain has vanished away instantaneously. Amen. She says, praise the Lord. The next one, is another testimony that's coming from the social media. This one is from Madagascar. Whitlow of over two months, Sister Tina from Antanarivo had Whitlow on her left thumb with excruciating pains for about two months now. This night, just immediately after the last amen of the general superintendent's prayer, power met oh. the pains Amen. and it vanished away. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hold on.
Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord has done it. Praise the Lord. I've been having this chest pain for this almost three years. Sorry. My name is Grace Martin from a Seng Tang group, Calabar region. When I heard about GS coming to Calabar, I was very, very happy. But because of my work, I knew I, could, I wouldn't be able to come. So I said, okay, I'm going to talk to my boss if he allows me. So when I talked to my boss that is for six days program, he said that I'm free, I'm okay to go for the six days. Praise the Lord. To the extent that I'm even tired of it. If they talk about drugs, I don't even look at it. So whenever the chest pain comes, I will just pray in my mind. If they say I should take drugs, I don't accept it because I'm tired of taking drugs. But when I came on Thursday, I came on Friday, I've been expecting my miracle. But today, when our Father in the Lord was praying, during the prayer, I could feel something sharp on my chest. And when I had the final amen, I couldn't feel the pain I felt when I came into the calm down. Praise the Lord. The pain is gone and gone forever, yes? Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Um, my name is Azua Solomon from, from Benway State. I've been experiencing a heart pain since 2017. So I only told my mother about it since that 2017. I decided to keep it a secret. To Last year, after Corona, that Corona outbreak, the thing came out that I couldn't control it anymore. So the thing, the thing was so severe that I can't hide it anymore. So we started going for hospital. We went to all the hospitals in Makodi, but there was no cure. Like after the scan, they say the heart swelled up. One of the arteries it swelled up and it was almost closing up. So. They, on, they only placed me on monthly drugs, which I was receiving. Every month I would go and receive at the end of each month. So at the end of the day, it was a traditional herb that cured me. After the traditional herb, that was in February, I thought the thing has gone. So last month, I slept and I dreamed that somebody came on a heli helicopter and the person fired a, the person fired a, a gun at me, at my chest. But I didn't die. I woke up immediately. So when I woke up, like one week after it, I started experiencing the heart uh, pain again. And this time around, it was so severe that I can't even, I can't even stand up when it, when it starts. So a brother invited me for the program. Go to the point. A, a brother invited me for the program. I couldn't come the first day. Yesterday when I came, Immediately the, after the last amen, immediately when the man of God said the last amen, when we shouted up, I discovered, a, I feel very relieved from the chest. And I went, when we were going back, I couldn't testify yesterday because the crowd was much. When we were going back, the car dropped us at uh, Etago, Ranabar. On a normal note, I cannot trek from Etago to Malabo, but I trek yesterday from Etago to Malabo without experiencing anything. So yeah. praise the Lord. You're free. Amen. Just
just a minute, just a minute. As pastor was preaching, Professor Gosson Oko Amba, VC Kotek came in. Amen. Also, GVC Unica, Professor Mike Oko. And also, Reverend Richard Udo King, head of Baptist Church in Cross River State. Amen. We also have Mrs. Florence Walter, wife of former Deputy Governor of Cross River State. You're welcome, sir. Anything social media? Yes, miracles are happening. I will read from Gift Aqua Ascent. I've been calling my sister and telling her to follow this program. This morning, she called me. She said she had been bleeding for four weeks, which she intended going back to the hospital by Monday. She isn't a member of the church, but she just tuned in to radio 991 FM. Port Harcourt, where this program was streaming live. And as she tuned on to radio and the program was on, she followed the prayer of the man of God till the final amen. She wrote, Lo and behold, during the prayer, my case was mentioned. At the last amen, the bleeding stopped amen. instantaneously. Amen. She just called again to inform her before this was sent to us. Praise the Lord. And from Guagualada, we have this one live on your screens now. Live, 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 live. live. Oh. leg and the one in the other, three in the mouth, one in the, in the right lip, uh, ribs. So when I went to Kujie, after staying, when I was to come out, I stood up, I could not walk. They have to support me to the car. When they supported me to the car, I was thinking, how will I drive and come back? I managed, I drive and come back. I went directly to the church. When I went to the church, already program has started. When I entered into the church, before I could even get out of the car, it was a struggle. I managed to enter. When I managed to enter, everybody knew I was in pain because the pain was so high. So when I entered, I sat down. When Daddy started uh, preaching, I was divinely connected. When I was connected, where is first mention point one? He said, authority in his name. When he said authority in his name, he said we should open to the book of Acts chapter 3 verse 6. I opened to that book. When I opened, I see where Peter says, silver and gold I have not, but such as I have, I give unto you. In the name of Jesus, I rise and walk. I didn't know, I felt like a force pushed me from my seat. I jacked up myself. When I stood up, I said, yes, the pain is gone. The pain is gone. I started shouting. Everybody was jubilating in the church. I shouted, I shouted. That is how I kept up. Even today, when we were praying, when they said, check yourself, I was still checking because I knew what I passed through. So I thank God for the perfection of the healing. I thank him for what he has done. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is free already. Yes. Possible. Praise the Lord! My name is Cecilia Oro. I'm from Obubra region, under the Ohana, the Ohana group of district. I'm here to testify the goodness of God in the life of my son. It was when the child was a year and four months. I experienced, I experienced something in him. 
when he's in, whenever he pass out a fishing, I will see anus coming out from his anus. Since then, this child he has been taking drugs, taking all kinds of herbs. There are some herbs that I can even give to him. Myself, I cannot even test it because the tooth looks so dirty. But this child is taking it. Even when any time that he has moto and potassium, all these herbs, he will call me, Mommy, look at the set pie, go and buy. That's how we go and buy all the medicine I've been giving this child. But all this, there was no solution. But on Thursday, we came here. When, when the man of God was praying, he said that, if he should lay, that we should lay our hands where we have problems and carry the other hands up. That's what I told him. I said, place your hand in your anus and carry your, your hand, one hand up. That is what he did. And I never know that miracle have took place. Yesterday morning, he said, Mommy, I want to go and poo. And I carry him to the toilet. When we get to the toilet, I cannot look because my son also go to the toilet. When we came back, I asked him. I said, did it come out? He said, no, Mommy, that's OK. I will wash again. Tomorrow, myself, I will carry you. Today, this morning, when I carry him to the toilet again, I said, I want to see. I said, bend down. When he bent down, I was, I was looking. I said, turn and look me, turn. I was bending down, looking, washing how the spirit was coming out. When Amen. I see the spirit was coming out, Amen. praise the Lord. Amen. When I see the spirit come out, the, the, the anus became stiff. That when the spirit finished, the anus closed it. Nothing like that. Say, may the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Could you amplify, brother? Amplify. Is it pile or what? Uh, yes, uh, the child had pile right from when he was one plus, mm. and um, he used to have a, what we call a, a prolapse when he wants to go to toilets. Uh, the the anus will pump out like that. Uh, but yesterday, when the man of God prayed, the mom asked on Thursday asked him to place his hands there, and after the prayer. That problem went away. Divine surgery. Divine surgery. Social media, any social media? From from the social media, we have testimonies coming from Ada Teresa. Ada Teresa testified that she had eye problem, but after the prayer of the man of God tonight, she opened her eyes by faith and began to see clearly. Praise the Lord. Martha Kona said on YouTube, wrote, I had sickness of fibroids that had defied medical reasoning, but God's power touched it, and that fibroid has dried up. Amen. She says, God be praised. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Nene Williams wrote, My womb had issues. But tonight, after the prayer of the man of God, all the issues of the womb have disappeared. disappeared. Praise the Lord. Miracle. Church, praise the Lord. I'm by name Agaji Simon from Uba, Ogoja region. I want to testify what the Lord did in my life the first day of this program. For the past three years, once it's 7.30 p.m., I can't take my bed again, no matter the nature of the work I did in the daytime. Once I do that, the next morning, I'll be feeling pains in my chest, coughing like someone who is suffering from tuberculosis, and I'll be having a running nose. But after the prayer of the man of God on the first day of this program, I went back after the, the, the dinner, I, I was feeling heat. So, and it was around 10 to 11. I went and took my bed. 
and see what will happen. The next day, I didn't feel the symptoms again. I said, what is happening? I said, no, let, let, is it real? This day again, it was around 11 o'clock, I still went and take my bed again. And I discovered that this morning, I am totally healed. Amen. Praise the Lord! Amen. Just praise the Lord. The Lord is good. Yes, the Bible has treated everything. During the retreat that we have, my name is Benjamin Udopotana from Death Religion. When we have final solution, that was time I discovered and said, in fact, I was wounded by the devil. The devil thought my life is in hand. He never knew that it is God that won me. My brother in the Lord, that's what yesterday is today and forever. I was blind, dead, and dumb. Madness and stone, such as snow. For by the special grace of God, now I'm here. Hmm. In fact, I was contemplating how I will come or how our prophet will come. Giants of the Senate, they were coming to come to God's United States. Right there it came. When I heard it, often I was still praying and so on. I said, God, please help me. Now that I've come, since then, you find my brother, I was horizontally sick for a good five years. I could not walk. Now I can stand. Since then, now mm, I cannot bend my I cannot bend my my neck or my waist. But today I have come. Mm, when I heard the final I made, I cannot bend my 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 my, my head yeah. and my waist. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord who has done to me who did all of all personal relationship with God, no matter the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did he say deaf and dumb? What, what did he say? Praise the Lord. Uh, he has been afflicted with multiple problems. Yes. He had psychiatric problem. Okay. He had problem with his sight, blind. Yes. He had problem hearing. Okay. And also he had impediments with his speech but and this had lasted for the past eight years not only that he had affliction of pains in his neck he could not bend his head forward and he cannot move this way mm. but as he came to this Amen. program the power of God touched Amen. him and he's fully delivered put your hand together put your hand together Amen Signs and wonder. Hold on, hold on. Social media, any country or states? Yes, we have testimonies. This one is from Agola Divine. Woke up with stomach ache. This is on YouTube. Came to the program. And by the power of God, that stomach ache disappeared. Testimony from Joy Hosanna. Been having terrible burning sensation all over her body for five years. After the prayer of the man of God, that sensation vanished away. Signs of God's will, Uche, was healed from continuous stooling. It stopped just after the prayer of the man of God. Amen. Severe hand pain, Chica, disappeared in Lagos. Alex Oyebuchi, also in Lagos, had growth on his back, neck. His cord it was coming out with maggots. But after the prayer of the man of God, the swelling disappeared mm. and it dried up instantaneously. Praise Amen. the Lord. 
Hallelujah. This one also says, Glory to God. I received the miracle on the first day in the middle of my chest. I used to have pain. But that day after the prayer, the pain vanished away. Olubukola wrote, Goita disappeared Amen. after the prayer of the man of God. Amen. And finally, from Ogun State, back pain vanished away after the prayers of the man of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Sir, we have somebody here in the media room working with us whose God's power has just touched. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Brother Chino So Ibabuchi. From Thursday, I had headache, fever, waist pain, pain in my neck. In fact, it was tough. But after the prayer of the man of God on Friday, that was yesterday, I felt relieved. And now I'm completely made whole. I'm sound. I'm very well. Praise the Lord. the goodness of God in my life. It was it was late last year, last quarter of 2020. I felt an object movement in my left leg. And I hit on that point and I prayed, believing that that object had gone. I didn't know that that object came to stay. After, before the de December retreat, the legs became very heavy, but no swelling, and I was placed on a malaria and typhoid treatment, which I did all that. There was no uh, answer. Before I know, my two legs became very heavy. My two hands became very heavy. I could not even know what to do. I could not hold something very well. I cannot even really observe if I am holding something by my hand. I had to go to teaching hospital. I went to Navy Hospital. They give me all the medication, all to no avail. But when I heard that, that our tears, our papa is coming to cross the bastard, I told my God that this global crusade is going to be the final bus stop to this problem. And as I said yesterday, as the man of God told us, we should lift up our hands and place one to where we have the challenges. My two hands are affected. Which one would I raise? I decided to raise one hand. I placed the other one in my left leg. As the man of God gave the final amen, I felt an object movement in that leg. My leg began to shake. And from that very yesterday, I began to move well. Amen. I began to move well. Amen. No, I could have testified yesterday I said, let me put it into action. Let me test it. From that yesterday, the leg that I was unable to bend, I cannot bend it. Amen. I say, may the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Call him. Call him. Can you jump up? Jump up. Jump up. Let's see. Jump up. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank God. I'm Elizabeth Ufan, Obudu Origin. I thank God who gave me the opportunity to come and stand and testify how I am suffering since year 2000. I'm suffering from fibers. When the GS came, I was Running my course and NDI, I told my sister about my problem. She said, GS is coming. So that yet, I'm very sorry I could have testified the goodness. Saying that time, I was not have the chance. So 
when the Jesus said, everybody should carry his hand and praise Bible, which shall be everything, all and all. So I press my hand in my stomach, everything has disappeared. Praise the Lord. Amen. I was shouting, shouting, shouting. I said, my sister, come and see what the Lord has done. I will not hurt this thing again. It has disappeared from my stomach. He said, praise the Lord. My sister said, the only thing I will give you that you will take home, I will buy a Bible for you. I have nothing to give you. You should only concentrate in the word of God. Every, nothing is impossible for God. So I thank God as God has removed my Bible, which I was suffering 2000. Yeah, I suffered it for about 16 years. It's gone. Which has disappeared Amen. 2016. Amen. Praise the living God. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. Hold on. Anything in social media? Yes, from the social media. We have this testimony coming all the way from Lagos State, Ashiata District, Orile Group. Brother Sunday, Oriado, he testified that he had a challenge that had paralyzed him for eight years since 2013. Immediately after the prayer of the GS, he got up and started walking without the help of his crutches. Praise the Lord. We have this one also coming from Adebit the Savior. He says, the Lord delivered me from hepatitis B. He has been very sick since January as he went for a test and it was confirmed that he had it. He did several tests and spent money. It was still the same. But to the glory of the Lord yesterday, as the power of God touched him, he went for the test again and it was negative. Praise the Lord. We now take this one live from Lagos. Lagos. The Lord is good. My name is Brad Thompson Mesa Ivo. I am from Akiodi District, Ojodu Group, Old Akiodi, Lagos. I want to share the testimony of the goodness of God towards me. Before I came yesterday, there was severe uh, waist pain down to my feet, and my two legs were like numb as if I was going to get paralyzed. So I came and sat down there and was praying. Then, secondly, I had have, uh, have sleepless night. The day before yesterday, I don't know whether I closed my eyes for uh, 10 minutes. There is a severe heat at the back of my body, to the point that when I went to hospital, the doctor, when he wanted to judge me, he said, ah, but, uh, why is your back so hot? On two different occasions I went, he made that statement. So I had been having sleepless night. But yesterday, one pastor came out and started ministry. The heat now moved from my back to one part of my head and my right hand side. It was as if somebody brought a stove very close to my body. But while the message was going on, I saw that that subsided completely. And then when I rose up, instead of exercising myself, I was in a little bit shame because I was sitting in front here. I said, people at the back were looking at me. So I just remained sat, uh, seated there. Then when I wanted to go, I stood up, lo and behold, my leg became one. Very, very free. My leg became one free about my body. Praise the Lord. We have one from Port Harcourt, River State. I want to test, um, by the grace of God, I'm born again. I want to testify of the goodness of God in my life. On Monday, I woke up to see that I will not generate again. My ureter was blocked. And anytime I want to weep, it's so difficult. I can spend 30 minutes there. There was no way. I have to go to clinic and she gave me some drugs, but there was no solution. So on uh, Friday, I've taken the drug, no solution. It's paining me. I have to 
go back. I said, I have not seen anything. As the doctor, as she now checked me, she said, ah, this is kidney stone. It, she cannot do it. I now, now refer me to a gynecologist. I went to a gynecologist. The gynecologist also saw it. She now referred me to UPTH. I now said, no, I am not going to UPTH. I will go to the UPTH of Science and Wonder that God will heal me there. I entered the service and I was praying and said, God, this stone must be removed. This is signs and wonders. I can't go and publicize to other people that God will heal them and I will be in the hospital at a time like this. By the grace of God, I prayed and prayed. And the man of God, when he said we should lay our hands, I tried and lay my hand on the place and I went home. I told God, I said, God, you must perform the miracle. In the night, me and my husband woke up, we prayed and said, God, or signs and wonder. And in the morning, I went to the toilet, nothing had happened. I lay down, I was praying, I said, today, this must go, that it must go, my brethren. By nine, between nine and 10, I went back to the uh, toilet to go and we. Behold, I just heard, boom, the thing just came out by itself. Without me, without any surgery, without anything, the God of signs and wonder hid me. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. Give this to me a kidney stone. God and God forever in my life in Jesus' name. I encourage everyone at this time, no matter the sickness in you, believe the prophet of God. You will receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. The Lord, my name is Sister Olu Tinokas. I'm from Oriawo Group, Unity District, the Portacos region. By the grace of God, I'm born again. I want to testify to the goodness of God in my life. For some weeks now, I was having serious heart, um, chest pain that I couldn't bend. If I bend, I would feel the pain. So I took some drugs. Even after the drug, the pain continued. I pray. I told God that God, God should intervene in this situation. When I, I heard that the program will be coming up, I told God that this time around, God is going to visit me. So the first day of, of this program, that was on Thursday, I was there, I was praying to the Lord that God must visit me. When our daddy was praying, I was seriously praying, and I told God, before the pray, prayer ended, I felt uh, the pain, a, a sharp pain on my chest, and after the pain disappeared, since then, I cannot feel the pain again. I really appreciate God for his mighty, for his healing upon my life. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's take one or two more for time for the possible. Out. My name is Sister Lydia from Akwaibo. I attended the program since Sunday on Monday. So on that Monday, I was so I had this pain. My pain was chronic. So as I came to the church yesterday, Pastor prayed. As he finished praying, I received my instant healing. Church, praise the Lord. Can you amplify that, Pastor? Amplify that. Sorry, please. I cannot confirm that now. I'm looking for the person that is having that. Pardon? I said I cannot confirm that now. I'm looking for the person that interviewed her so that I could verify the Okay. Let's do that. Praise the Lord. God is good. And all the time, my name is Ruth Mbang Calabari.